Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about uh, the concept of similar triangles. So if you have two triangles, and if it's told, you, if it's told that um, the triangle ABC and triangle PQR are similar, so this is the notation, if it said triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR, um, first property would be the corresponding angle would be equal. So um, I'm going to use color red to um, show that which are the corresponding angle uh, uh, with, res with respectively. So angle A would be same as angle P as given above and angle B would be the same as angle Q. Then angle C would be same as angle R which is these two are going to be equal to each other. So the first property and second property would be they have so the corresponding length would have the same scale factor. So scale factor is the length of scale figure over the length of the original figure. So if I call this the scale one, if I call this is the original one, and if the length of AB is 2, and the length of PQ is 6, the scale factor of it would be equals to 6 over 2, which is 3. So what does that mean is, if BC is given as a length of 4, okay, it doesn't look like a 4, but uh, just saying this length is 4, according to the scale factor of 3, this one will be go to its corresponding length, and times, but times it by the factor of 3, which gives you 4 times 3, which is 12. If this length gives you is maybe, I would say, 3, then this length would be 9. So right now I'm going to apply the properties of the two similar triangles uh, to find uh, the corresponding length for uh, this uh, particular examples over here. So right now I have a big triangle and a small triangle embedded in the big one. And as you can see, I already drawn some uh, angles over here that's uh, located for these two triangles. So for the small one, which you can see here, all right, if I call this A, B, C, D, E, the small one, all right, if I draw it out, A, B, C would have shared the same angle with a, a, a triangle A, D, E. So this angle are the corresponding angles, and if they both have 90 degrees, this one will be the same as each other also, because the sum of triangle, I mean sum of angles in a triangle are a total of 180 degrees. So if those two are the same, the rest will be the same too. So applying this knowledge, if I call AB as length A, alright, and uh, BD is B, CB is C, and ED is length of D, the corresponding length, okay, would be, okay, I'm just going to mark these here using the other color, so that way you won't get confused, so A, B, C, and D, alright, the length of C over the length of D would be the same portion of, I mean, same uh, scale factor as the length of A, which is this corresponding length, over this length of A plus B, this should be. This should be the longer one, right? Because it's from A to D. A to D is A plus the length of B. So as you can see, right now we have this relationship over here. And if we are solving for this length, then we basically just have to solve for D equals to uh, an expression, which if I solve it, uh, cross multiplication, then you will have A times D equals to C times A plus B. Then D would be A C times A plus B divided by A. Right now, I'm going to apply the previous concept that I've been talked about into a real life scenario. So if you have someone that is 1.6 meters tall 
of uh, um, the level of his eyesight is 1.6 meter tall, and the bar is C meter. Okay, C is a variable. It could be uh, any number. Depends on how tall this bar is in the in the real life scenario. And A is the distance from the bar to this person. All right, so it would be me if I'm uh, measuring this uh, scenario. And B would be the distance from the bar to the building that uh, I'm trying to measure for the height. And obviously, um, the height of the building would be my interest. So I'm gonna use a variable h to no notate it. So, um, but these kind of information are really hard to collect in life. So for example, um, it's really easy to find a and c because it's just uh, what you are um, uh, reachable to find. But how do you find the distance from the bar to the building, especially when the distance is very long? So um, I figure out uh, if you go to Google Map or even uh, uh, just look into a map itself, um, there will be a distance from the point to the building itself. So you basically just have to measure the length of it and times it by the scale. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. So uh, when I go to measure, so first of all, I'm going to make sure this uh, ruler over here, this measure ruler, um, is uh, lined up right at the top uh, of the building. So when I look at it, so this tip would be right at the top. So which makes it uh, a similar triangle here by, okay, if I have to draw to show it. So this will be the sight line. That I have okay, and then and uh, from my eye to the building. So here you can see there's two triangle. One is this one. The other one is from here. So so the measurement of my uh, ruler to from the ground is around 2.5 meters and the distance from my feet to my ruler is around 0.6 meters my from my eye to the ground is around 1.7 meter and so right now we have all the information set uh, from Google Map, I search up my location to the building. It's around 156 meters. So just use the red uh, color over here to uh, write down all the new information. Um, so the bar is around 2.5 meters tall. Uh, the distance from the bar to my position is uh, 0 0.6. Uh, my eyesight is uh, 1.7 meter. Okay. And so first of all, we have to indicate uh, where is the... The two tri uh, two similar triangles. So I'm gonna connect my my eye level to the building. As you can see, you can see that here's a small. Let me change it to red. Okay, here's you can see that uh, there's a there's a small triangle over here, and the big one that goes all the way from my eye to the building. So um, we have to find out what is this new length. This new length would be uh, 2.5 I minus 1.7 okay so below I'm gonna use this new triangle to uh, locate it so it looks a little bit more clear so this length would be 2.5 minus 1.7 so it's going to be 0 0.8 meters and this part would be 0 0.6 meters all right just gonna leave that so 1.156 and then we are looking for h so to find h we can use the scale factors I mean the second property which is the scale factor which uh, are the same so uh, the corresponding length for the big triangle for h would be uh, 2.5 minus 1.7 which is 0 0.8 meters this is equals to the ratio of this whole entire bottom length, which is 
156.6 meters over 0 0.6. So H will be easily solved by just timesing the notation over here. So um, to solve this algebra, first of all, you want to get rid of 0 0.8 at the denominator uh, over here. So you times both sides by 0 0.8. And uh, 0 0.8 will cancel out, okay? And you'll have this notation. By plugging this one into the calculator, you will find that, okay, just do a little calculations over here. So you will find that, oh, the height of the building is around 208.8 meters, okay? So this will be an approximate, uh, approximate height for the building because there might involve some uh, measurement error, uh, which uh, maybe happens in calculating the distance from me to the, I mean, to the building, or from either this um, this bar height or the distance over here. So uh, if we eliminate it, th these kind of error, then uh, we will get as close as possible for the building's height. So thank you for watching this video with me. Hope you enjoyed this.